God be the glory. Amen. I love you all. Um, I was meant to share this yesterday, but uh, I just wanted to just to be sure before I basically release it today. And um, I believe it's a place where the Lord is just wanting to encourage somebody at the same time. Right. So with this encouragement, I'm going to share uh, two testimonies in regards to that in itself. And the reason why I'm sharing that is because in this time and in this period, we have to be really careful about the things that we are ordering to our houses and the people that we're living, living this orders to. Because majority of you, I know that you have to go to work. And sometimes when you place orders, you know, you might not, you might not, um, be around to receive it because some of you, you basically, you know, leave that thing with my neighbor and things like that. And it's for that reason, I just want to help us to understand that we have to be sober and be vigilant. Why? Because I believe that theft is on the rise. Do you see that? Because in the book of Isaiah chapter 61, I believe verse 7 thereabout, it said, I hate robbery, says the Lord. But it's in this hour that theft is on the rise. You know, for majority of you who orders things and instructs them to leave it at your front door, you have to be what? You have to be careful. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying be careful. Because I know that the reason why the Lord might be speaking this in itself is some of you might be expecting or having something very important delivered to you in this hour so it is a place where you have to be careful uh, where you basically leave your packages when it's being delivered and the reason why I'm sharing that is because you know, while I was at university, I've been there before. <laughs> Do you see that? I've been there before. I was, you know, I, I used to be uh, quite naughty in that regard. And in that regard is where I want to share this in itself. Because I remember when I was living uh, in the halls of accommodation, you know, uh, uh, many years back, uh, it was a place that I had a uh, a room, a flatmate. Yeah, he was into credit card fraud and things like that. So in that regard in itself, you know, he will order things in other people's names and he will have it what? He will have it delivered to himself and perhaps sell it on. Do you see that in itself? So I believe there was a day I was going to work one morning and everybody was so asleep. And what happened? You know, I saw the postman at the door and they delivered this package. And what happened? You know, I basically signed it. <laughs> <laughs> and I went and kept it. I never delivered it to the person, you know, and I went to work and I came back only to realize, wow, it was an Xbox in there. So I never said anything, you know, I basically kept it. But what happened to the Xbox in the end? It got stolen. <laughs> Do you see whatever a man sows, he will rip because, you know, it was retrieved in an ungodly way. You <laughs> It was for the year for in a very uh, uh, bad behavior that was, you know, it's stealing in regards to that too. And for that reason, it was stolen too. <laughs> Do you see that in itself? So whatever a man sows, he will reap. So I'm glad, you know, that was taken off my hand. So the accuser had to stop accusing because it was a stolen property. So it's in that in itself the lord is saying be careful because there are people who are going to be on the rise you know because i remember as well there was somebody who used to uh, a uni you know a friend to somebody as well you know he will have things ordered and he will go and wait in the person who owned the address and wait in their house to collect the parcel do you see that so it's a place where the lord is also encouraging that you have to be careful when you order things because there are people who are just lurking around when you basically order it they see it on the step what do they do they take it and then they walk away with it do you see that they walk away with it like nothing happened and i believe it's because of all that is happening you know all these christmas things that is happening and a lot of people you know <laughs> they, they need they want money and whatever it is and for whatever reason you know that's why they are behaving the way they behave but love them and pray for them i know their behavior might not be right but love them and pray for them why because I was watching a testimony where a woman, you know, her, her laptop got robbed. <laughs> and then eventually the person who robbed it, you know, she began praying for the person and blessing the person and praying for the person and blessing the person. And in that in itself, the person began to watch <laughs> a testimony, you know, and a sermon on the laptop and basically returned it in itself. So it's a, it's a prayer that you continue to bless them because the Bible says, bless those who persecute you and what pray for those who despitefully 
actually use you so in that in itself the Lord can basically change your heart or in itself you know allow restitution one way or the other amen to God be the glory so that in itself is the first dimension and the second dimension is this I want us to be careful at the same time of the people that we give our addresses to. Can you see? I know in this hour, a lot of people, you know, just like I was sharing in the first one, you know, in this second uh, uh, dimension, we have to be careful in this hour whom we share our addresses with. We have to be careful. So if it's, you know, people on a personal note, you know, be sure that, you know, you're basically, you know, you're, you're, you're in a place of peace that surpasses all understanding before you share that itself. And the reason why I want to share this, because the Bible says a man's enemy is a member of his own household. So it was a place where, you know, and I'm grateful because the Lord basically reconciled my father. I remember many years back, you know, I just finished from university and God allowed me to reconcile with him. You know, it was then I found him for after how many years I never heard from him. I found him. So it was a place I was looking for a job. And he said to me, hey, you know, give me your CV and things like that. And, you know, I basically shared my CV with him. But upon sharing it, <laughs> I didn't realize that my phone, my house address was on it. Can you see that? And like I've shared with majority of us here who have been on this channel, helping you to understand that my father was heavy into sorcery. Can you see that? He was so into sorcery and things like that and witchcraft and, and all of those diabolical works before the Lord actually saved him. Do you see that? And when I gave him that CV, I didn't even know he was into that in the first place. And what was he doing? He was using my CV to release witchcraft in that in itself, you know, and the Lord would begin to show me, you know, somebody's using your CV to do this. Somebody's using your CV to do that. And it was all manifestations of my CV using it in all diabolical manner. And the Lord was showing me that he's one of the roots of that happening. Can you see that? Because that in itself began to unleash, you know, me being kidnapped in dreams, you know, unleashing, releasing all manners of demons and all kind of witchcraft concerning the CV in itself. Do you see that? But to God be the glory. I'm glad he got saved in the end. <laughs> Do you see? I'm so glad he got saved. But while he was doing that witchcraft, this was all that he was unleashing, you know, against me, against my household and things like that, you know, intending for me to come back and using witchcraft to the, all of those diabolical things. But we thank God for victory. So this is a place where I'm just encouraging and sharing with majority of you that you have to be careful of whom you share your addresses with. Do you see that? Your home address, your office address, whatever dimension it is, you have to be watching you have to be careful because you don't know who is out there and you don't know the motives behind why people do what they do because sometimes they can look friendly on the surface but the motives behind it can be totally wrong do you see that and i believe the lord is just sharing this with somebody who is probably about to make you know that move in itself and he it says be you know be sober be vigilant be careful at the same time because sometimes the lord can put you away somewhere and he says nope i don't want to share in anything not at all yeah you can use it here you can use it there but not with people not with that in itself so you see that in itself because the lord he says he who is able to keep you from stumbling he is able to keep you from falling because the adversary is roaming about like a roaring lion seeking to what seeking whom to devour amen so be careful of your package because, you know, there are people who are going to sign for it. They sign for it in another name or whatever it is. Like I said, I've been there too. You know, thank God for the mercies of God. And if you've done this too, I release the mercy of God over you. And for the other people, be careful who you share your addresses with. The Lord loves you very much. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you.